This is a, <clears throat> a photo I took of Babs Mill Lake in Kingshurst looking towards Ford Bridge and you've got the football fields over there where we used to play when we were kids. So this is what I'm going to use for um, today's painting. So I've got my usual palette, raw sienna, actually I normally have it this way around so I know where everything is, burnt umber, lemon yellow, Payne's grey. Lizard crimson, raw sienna, burnt umber, light red. Got my tea towel to wipe the excess water off the large hake that I use. So, without further ado, using clean water, I'm going straight onto the Fabriano watercolour paper. It's 15 by 11, 130 pound in weight. I use this not because it's particularly fantastic paper, it's just cheap. I get it from artdiscounts.co.uk It's about, it's just over £25 for um, 100 sheets so that's why I use it just to cost more than anything So raw sienna and then clean brush, ultramarine just on its own, ultramarine and then I'm just going to just where you can see the the white sky through the clouds and then some reflection in the water I'm going to make that a little stronger Just trying to be careful not to knock the camera with my hand. So that's that in. I'm going to put in the distant trees now. So, actually I didn't need to clean the brush because I'm only using the same colours. If you're going to use the same colours it's, it's pointless cleaning it. Raw sienna, ultramarine and just working my way along. Just using mainly the, the corner of the height brush and then just, just varying the colour as I go along. Just dipping into the raw sienna and ultramarine. Over on this left hand side and then as we come closer maybe going into a bit of, a bit of lemon yellow just to warm the green up a bit and then as we come right over maybe a bit of Payne's grey just to get a really rich darky green Ultramarine, Payne's grey, lemon yellow, and over on this right hand side, it's the nearest to us. Really strong. Maybe a touch of light red just to vary it slightly. Before I do any more, I'm just going to See how the paper's stretched, so I'm just going to pull it tight on this right hand side. So we've got a flat surface to work with now. So we've got this progression of trees from far away up as we get closer and closer. I'm just going to use a fingernail to, just to suggest a few. few trunks and branches but that'll do just keep it subtle 
Now I'm going to clean the brush. I'm just going to check if the paper's dry. Hang on. I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll put dry it first. Now I know that's dry. I'll just stick the photo over here so I know we'll, we can all see what we're working with then. So the next thing I'm going to do is a bit more of this fore, foreground area in front of the uh, of these trees. So it's it's a, a sort of lighter bit of grassy area. So I'm just going to go into Raw sienna, maybe just a touch of light red, and then just very, very lightly. Put those lighter grassy bits in. And then just below them you can see how it changes back to green. So I'm going to clean the brush. I'll just go into ultramarine, lemon yellow. And then just this is the uh, the reeds now by the bank. So I'm just sort of tapping a bit into each one so you get a whole variety of colours in the brush so that when you put the strokes in instead of just getting one continuous tone of colour you get a bit of variation just makes it more interesting more interesting to look at when you're going to something like a, a red, you just want a, a quick dab because it's such a strong colour. It'll just quickly take over the whole scene if you ain't careful. Also, just use the corner there just to put some high bits in. You don't want them all exactly the same level as you're going along. It'll, it'll just look boring. So that's that. And then I might just put a... Just to finish that bit off, I might just put some darker there in, just where it's right along the river bank. So that's that bit done. Now I'm going to do this this tree area there. Um, I can just about see some trunks and branches through, so I still haven't cleaned the brush. I'm just going to use the uh, the edge of the high key just to put these these twigs and bits in. But I'm, I'm going to just try and keep it subtle. I don't want to fill the whole of this area like I've got it here. I'm just going to do it. A little bit smaller scale. I do for that. I'm going to clean the brush and I'm going to get the green and fill the green leaf leafy areas in. So, clean brush. I'm going to scuff up the uh, the hairs. on the towel. 